Peggy Hi, 18. you're watching Family Gamer TV. I'm Mark Clapham, a writer and longtime Batman fan, and I'm talking to you today about this new footage from Arkham Knight. Now, uh, you'll have seen the Peggy 18 logo at the start of this video. There's been a bit of contention about the fact that Arkham Knight is going to be the first game in the series to be M for Mature in the States and 18 rated in Europe. It's really only a sort of... Um, it's really only a couple of years nudged up from the previous ratings. I think people haven't noticed that the previous games were sort of 15, 16 rated. But I think in the States, uh, T for Teen and M for Mature are considered quite a bit different. But uh, watching this trailer today, I think we'll see that the level of detail in this game uh, may make some of the violence hit a bit harder even if it's the same kind of violence we've seen before. Okay, we started with uh, Batman and Commissioner Gordon on the GCPD roof. Batman did his usual disappearing act. He's after the Scarecrow and he's now talking to Commissioner Gordon's daughter, Barbara Gordon, uh, Oracle. In the comics, she's recently um, had her disability that made her Oracle reversed. So she's out of her wheelchair and being back to being Batgirl again, but uh, the Arkham games are sticking to their guns in that respect, which I think a lot of people will like. And we're now off into the typical navigation around Gotham City, as smooth and impressive as ever. We see a few things around here, Gotham gas, nothing particularly, the Easter egg's not particularly, nothing I can particularly catch here. Gotham Herald was in an episode of Batman Beyond as a... Um, newspaper that was closed down in the future but this is all apart from the just incredible detail balloon nice reference to the Tim, first Tim Burton uh, Batman movie there this is pretty much the sort of thing we're used to by now sweeping around the city finding some criminals and then dropping down and beating the heck out of them I'd love to know who that statue is of by the way and this is the same combat system very counter based those little flashes over their heads mean that's a good opportunity for a counter. Grab the limb, break the limb, strike back, uh, hammer your advantage. And there's uh, some lovely little sound effects in here. Lovely wooden clunk as he's using this thing. So it, it feels like, yet again, the sort of sound and visuals have been amped up a bit for this new generation. There's just a lovely level, level of detail and uh, sense of space here. But it's the same combat that we're used to and hopefully remain as as much fun just in terms of that ridiculous athletic uh, Batman combat style jumping around the place and you can always tell when it goes into slow-mo for the end that that's the finisher and he's done so so far so familiar Look at those rain effects though gorgeous and we're going over to rescue the cop you're safe Thanks, Batman. And we're going to go into a bit more slow-mo here again as somebody tries to flatten Batman. Never a good idea. And now, yet again, looking at the incredible level of detail on this um, rooftop here. And now we're getting to the Batmobile stage, the big difference from previous games. The fact that it's L1, even the odds, does make it sound like it's a bit more event-oriented. There's a sort of L train line up there, which is um, the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight films were filmed in Chicago and used the L trains in Chicago quite a lot as a backdrop. And so that feels like a reference to that. And I don't think we've ever seen those sort of running metro lines before. But here we are with the Batmobile. It feels like it's a bit of a, um, bit of a gimmick as we're seeing it here because it seems to come at a very specific time in the game, whereas we've been told that it's going to be a very fluid mechanic but this could be the first time you use it that could be why there's all the fuss about it there apparently you're supposed to be able to pull it in at any time if you're running around the streets but we're in pursuit of the scarecrow's goon now and get a real sense of gotham's uh, size the slow-mo might be having a bit of overkill here the slow motion effects but everything's moving so fast, it's very hard to actually sort of catch Easter eggs at this stage. You're getting a feel of how more uh, sort of ballistic Batman is having the uh, Batmobile at his disposal. That there's a lot of firepower here. Those posters you can see going past uh, say Batman good or good for Gotham question mark. So I'm wondering whether that's a kind of um, 
advertisement for a TV or radio debate. We also have a uh, police selection going on. If you see those GCPD badge posters, they're, a, they're for a police commissioner election of the kind they have in the States. So, we've taken out, Batman has taken out the, um, the bad guy's car and is approaching. And this is where I think the higher rating might be coming in. Because in the combat scene we're at a bit of a distance. But now we see Batman moving in for the interrogation. It's, we might see a bit more here about how this extra level of character animation just makes the interrogations and the violence seem a bit harder than they did before on the old 360 PS3 games. This is very uh, much a next-gen game. As good God, you can tell from the visuals. It's uh, very next-gen. But yeah, you can see the sort of, you know, the moaning he got as he was approaching this guy and the sort of pained look on his face. It just... This is very typical Batman interrogation from the previous games, but it just feels that bit more... Bit more brutal, and there's a sort of sadistic final touch to this interrogation that um, it's just a bit more bone crunchingly harder than what we're used to, and makes it feel a little bit tougher. So I don't think it is a I don't think it's a big change. I don't think it's something that um, people should be quite, getting quite worked up about. I think the games are just, ow, just being true to themselves. Um, and they've always been like this, but just on the current gen, it just seems a lot harder. Scarecrow Toxin, going back to the first Arkham Asylum game when Scarecrow was dabbling in Oracle. Venom and the Joker was developing Titan and, you know, fear gas has been a big theme throughout these games and they're sort of uh, drawing it all together here in this last instalment of the Arkham Trilogy as we're talking to Babs, Gordon here, a great character as either Batgirl or Oracle. And uh, yeah, they seem to be drawing the plot together, but you can see the, just the level of atmospheric effects here is astonishing. And it's going to be a real highlight. Well, there you go. A bit more fluid use of the Batmobile there. A bit less um, showy. A bit more fluid. And yet again, shooting through these streets here. And that is pretty much the end of the footage we've got here. We're going to get the logo kicking in in a second. Yep, there we go. And yeah, Arkham Knight, Batmobile, big new thing, everything else, just astonishing levels of uh, detail and next genness. And I don't know about you, but I can't wait for June. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, please subscribe to Family Gamer TV for more videos.